Here with Miami coach Chris Bergeron. Miami falls four to one at number seven, Minnesota Duluth. Coach, kind of an interesting first period. Not a lot of stoppages, uh, no goals in that first period. Kind of what did you see early on as both teams kind of settled into the game? From our perspective, I saw a team that was ready to compete. I thought we were competitive in the first. I thought we were competitive all game long. Um, you know, I'd still like to see us put more pucks on the other team's net. I'm not sure we had a, a lot of opportunities to do that in the first. I thought as the game went on, we had more opportunities and didn't put pucks on the other team's net, um, which for a team that doesn't score much, that's, you know, not, not a great formula. But um, what I saw, again, from our group, uh, most of the night was a group that was ready to, 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 to hunker in and battle and see how it goes. Talked about the power play. It seemed like you had more possession on your power play opportunities than maybe in the last couple of games, but not able, as you said, to get as many pucks on the net and maybe yeah. could have swung the game in that second period, three different chances and unable to get a goal. Yeah, I agree. Um, we were, you know, we had an opportunity to, you know, do something on the power play tonight. We had, a, you know, we had a power play two to one, as you said, I think we had a, you know, a couple of power plays in the second period at zero, zero, you know, they're a really good penalty killing team. Um, I, I, I'd like to see us, especially on the power play, think about getting more pucks in their net. Uh, just, you know, good things happen typically when you put pucks on the other team's net or around the other team's net. We just didn't do that. Um, but I, I agree with you. We, we did have more zone time. I thought we were hunting down pucks more and, and, uh, and possessing the puck more. We just, we just really need to do a better job of getting pucks at the other team's goal. For a game that was a defensive struggle for a lot of it, what did you see as the difference in the third period as I started to pull away? They made a few more plays than we did. Um, you know, the the it's a it's a it's a one nothing game, and um, but their power play or their power play goal in the third period hurt because I, I I just didn't think that that was one that uh, should have gone in and typically does go in. Um, but they made more plays than we did. It's, it's, it's just that simple. You know, they, uh, uh, they're they veteran, they're successful for a reason. Um, and their, their, their top guys made, you know, a couple more plays than we did. Early on in the year, it seemed like Red Savage doing a lot of good things for you, but unable to kind of put the puck in the net lately. He's been able to score. What did you see on that play? And especially Barbellini kind of spinning it free in the corner and just the, the teamwork that led up to that. Yeah, I, that line has been really good for us. I thought Red had a strong game again. Um, yeah, I thought uh, what I saw was a line that get rewarded for a good night, you know, uh, for a pretty good night. So that, that's that's what happened. I, I agree with you. He, he was somebody that was around at the first half of the year, but starting, you know, so far in the second half, he not only has been around it, but he's been getting rewarded for it with, with points. And, and uh, that's great. It's great for us, great for him. Um, but that's what I saw. They were matched up against the, for most of the night, uh, Gillings line with 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 Roth and um, and uh, Cates and those three players are, are really good players and I thought I thought our group held their own against them and and they got rewarded in that play. 